Colon cancer is one of the most common cancers in the world. And their rates seem to be increasing day by day. It appears to be slightly more in men than in women. Especially with the deterioration of nutritional habits, the increase in industrial food products and the decrease in organic foods, we see its frequency in your diet more and more. Most often, the role of nutrition is very important, but the probability is much higher in individuals with a family history, especially in those with a family history of colorectal cancer, that is, cancer involving the large intestine or the part of the rectum near the anus, the large intestine. Apart from this, in individuals who do not have a Mediterranean diet, diet and consume more carbohydrates and fats, it is observed that precancerous, cancer-prone cells in the large intestine, which we call polyps, are precancerous, lesions, chronic inflammations, especially ulcerative colitis and Crohn's. We see colon cancers more frequently in the long periods of patients such as the disease, in patients who cannot go into remission where the inflammations cannot be suppressed, or in cases where hundreds of tens of polyps with familial predisposition go in the large intestine which we call familial polyposis syndrome. Colon cancer lately unfortunately, it does not give such serious findings. As a complaint, anemia due to gradual blood loss from cancer tissue and weakness and fatigue in people may be at the forefront. Or, their defecation habits may not be impaired, so they may experience problems such as diarrhea, difficulty defecating and constipation from time to time. Abdominal pains, weight loss are also common in colon cancer. Is one of the findings? Especially family medicine in the screening of colon cancer stool occult blood examination, which is frequently performed in medical centers, is an important as an examination. Although it is a bit of an old study, it still maintains its importance. If there is any tumor in the large intestine in the body, it is an examination for the determination of the stool by rubbing it while passing through this area and contaminating the blood with the stool. But the gold standard, the highest quality, is still the most important test in this regard colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is performed very easily under anesthesia. It is an examination that we examine the entire large intestine in about 15 to 20 minutes. As we have just mentioned, it is a very important examination, and a therapeutic method that enables the immediate detection and removal of polyps, which are at the forefront of predisposing conditions. Because colon cancers mostly develop from polyps. Considering that in order for a colon cancer to develop, a polyp first appears, and this polyp turns into cancer in an average of seven years. The colonoscopy performed during the follow-up and the polyp can be removed very easily before it becomes cancerous and without cancer cells. Before the cancer even started thus, the patient is cured. Especially if there is a history in your family, it is necessary to start screening at a much earlier age. In individuals who have no complaints, it is also accepted by the World Health Organization, which is fully accepted by many countries in the world, including the United States colonoscopy, which is the screening method used by her, is recommended after the age of 45. But if you have a family history, any risk factors, it can start much earlier. If someone in your family has colon cancer, and is diagnosed earlier than the age of 50, we need to have your colon scan done 10 years before that person. If there is no problem, Problem, it will be sufficient to have a colonoscopy at five-year intervals. But if there is a polyp detected in colonoscopy, or if there is a cancer-prone condition called precancerous, then the frequency of colonoscopy will be indicated to you by your doctor. The most important point in the treatment of colon cancer is the stage of the cancer. If there is a cancer that resides only on the inner surface of the large intestine in the early stages, if it can be completely removed endoscopically, it can be removed by endoscopy, that is, by colonoscopic methods. But if the stage has progressed, and the other tissues of the large intestine have become involved, then surgery is an indispensable treatment option. Chemotherapy is often added to this. But now we have to say that we have achieved very promising results with the treatments we have. As it is always said, instead of being afraid of cancer, we should be afraid of being late and we should ensure that early screening tests, namely colonoscopy, are performed by gastroenterology specialists at a much earlier age.